Another use if uh, functionality uh, would be like, uh, what if we want to uh, get to this map out of the uh, out of the system? Uh, what can you do? Actually, it's uh, much similar with the other analytical tool, the way how we are doing it. So we'll be having this uh, button here called download. So, but uh, please observe here. For example, if you click download. Uh, Tuzo. Tuzo. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. You cannot see your screen. I'm not sure if it's only me or. Can you see my screen, guys, over there? Let me stop and share it again. Yes, 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 we can see. So you can see my screen, okay? Yes, we can see it. Okay, great. So uh, another useful functionality that uh, I wanted to show you uh, is that uh, what if we want to take this map out of the system, meaning offline? Maybe you wanted to embed it to a report or to any presentation. How can you do it? Uh, it's just the same as the way how we are downloading uh, other visualization types in other analytical tool. Uh, you will be seeing this uh, uh, menu here. And then uh, that menu called download. If you click on it, If you click to that uh, download menu, uh, it will just give you the pop-up and uh, uh, it will just uh, come with a few options uh, being selected by default. For example, here, it's just asking you that if you want to show uh, the name, which means you want to show uh, this title, if you have saved uh, your report. So you can decide to, uh, uh, to take it off if you don't if at all don't you want uh, your uh, your uh, your title uh, your map title to be shown but if at all you want you just make it uh, checked but another option is that uh, you have to specify where you want your key uh, your key region to be positioned so by default it comes to this uh, a light bottom of the uh, light bottom of the map but you have the flexibility. Uh, to, to change the position of your region. For example, this one is ticked here, is selected right. That's why you can see the region here at the um, bottom, uh, the light bottom of your, your map, but you can decide also uh, maybe to position uh, the left bottom of your, of your map, or you can just put the uh, left top at your, uh, of the map, or you can also uh, put the uh, light uh, top uh, uh, also uh, of your map. So it depends uh, uh, whether you want your, your, your key region to be positioned. So after specifying where you want, for example, here, I can just put it here, and then I can just uh, click this, download the functionality, and also uh, be able to uh, to download my, uh, my map. So it's actually, uh, downloading. It's actually being uh, downloading. I don't know why it's taking time, maybe because of the internet, uh, but also you can also do the same. Uh, on the map that uh, you have been uh, working on, and then you specify uh, where you want your, uh, your, your key region to be positioned, and then you can, uh, you can download it. So uh, for me, it seems it's uh, done downloading. Uh, that's what's taking time, so you can specify where do you want to save uh, your map. I can just uh, uh, save it here. And then uh, I can just go ahead and open it. So clicking it, 
So, uh, so uh, I was just showing you how you can get uh, the map uh, out of the uh, out of the system uh, using the downloading function. Uh, that's where my laptop will get stuck. Uh, but I think uh, I'm no need of uh, repeating that. And now you can still out of the uh, the system. Uh, maybe uh, let's uh, jump uh, to another feature uh, that is very interesting for you to uh, to know about map. Uh, uh, let me, why is it still loading? Uh, we have seen the functionality of uh, displaying the uh, the map uh, using the uh, 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 the, the, the single, like for example, if you are you have created the map, uh, for example, if we consider the last example that we are showing the map for the last uh, six months, for example, uh, and then uh, then you selected the uh, view uh, view method to be single, like aggregating all the data of that particular period uh, to be displayed in a single in a single map. So I think it's the high chance that we look on how we can use other feature uh, of uh, timeline and the, and the also um, split view uh, when we uh, are uh, displaying the map. This feature has been introduced to a uh, version of the DHS which is uh, uh, starting to 2.35 going upward. You can be able to, uh, to now display uh, the map for each uh, particular period. So I will just go ahead and uh, create the thematic uh, layer. Let's say, for example, um, uh, the BCG. Let me take an example of the BCG coverage. Um, my internet. Uh, let me try to switch uh, the internet. So let me add one of the thematic layer uh, using the uh, immunization uh, coverage group. Uh, actually, my internet is bad. Uh, So I will just uh, create uh, one of the indicator called BCG, which is actually found in the immunization coverage. And then uh, I'll take this one. So for example, um, I want to display uh, this information uh, following for the last six, uh, six months, as we have seen in the previous. And then uh, as you can see here, those visualizations that are all display methods that I was explaining, uh, we have uh, the first one, which is uh, single. Uh, that's I said, it's uh, aggregating. 
uh, the data for each period and then display it in one map. Uh, but we have uh, this one here called uh, timeline. Uh, this actually is played back like a video. So it will just be showing uh, the data for each particular uh, for each particular period. And uh, then you can, so it will be like, like a play. So it just go one month after another month until it just finishes. So to keep on playing like that. So it's play like a video. Uh, but another option is this, like uh, this one called split map view. So it just split all of them at once in different uh, uh, in in in, uh, in in the same display, but you'll be having a map for each particular uh, particular uh, particular uh, particular period. So uh, let's say take let maybe instead of six, let me uh, just go ahead to uh, maybe 12 months and then I will start with the aggregate and then I want to check it for the uh, district and, the, uh, and then add the layer. So as you can see now here, we are having uh, all of them are uh, being, uh, uh, being bundled for one uh, map. Uh, but as I said, another option could be like if we want to check for the each particular particular period. So instead of single, we just need to come here and uh, uh, enable timeline. So if you update, you find that it will be giving a map for each particular uh, particular month. So uh, for example, if I play here, as I said, this, this is like a play back like a video. So if I click this one, it will keep going to each of particular month, uh, playing, uh, playing. So sometimes you can just uh, uh, hope, uh, want to, to stop it. You can just go back and then uh, be able to see uh, that data for that particular month. Or you can just go ahead, keep switching manually. Uh, if we don't want to switch it manually, just make them uh, make it play. So to just keep on it, uh, keep on it, uh, uh, playing. So, uh, for this other particular two months, uh, there is no data. Uh, that's why it's displaying empty. So uh, this is one of the display map view that you can use if you want to uh, kind of track data for each particular uh, particular month. Uh, but another option is that you use this split map view. Uh, if you do that, you just see all of uh, map being displayed uh, for each particular map. So as you can see, if you, you want to check for the uh, March 2021 up to the, uh, to the December uh, 2021. So these are actually other uh, options or other uh, display options I would like for you to understand. And uh, uh, keep note that um, these options actually uh, works when you are using this relative period. I think you know how to differentiate this relative and the, and the static, uh, static period. So you can't use this other kind of, uh, this kind of view like timeline and the split map view uh, when you have selected like a, um, like, a static, uh, like a static period. So it's actually been uh, supported when you are using this uh, relative or dynamic, uh, dynamic uh, dynamic period. So uh, that's uh, one of the feature that uh, is good for you to, to, to do, but also you can uh, still uh, simulate, be able to, uh, to create this kind of uh, map. So I'll just give you uh, like two minutes to just uh, be able to replicate uh, of what I just, I just did here uh, for the uh, for the last 12 months. So I just uh, display the question here and I want you to, to tackle them, uh, to tackle it in two, in two minutes. So let me share uh, my screen, having those questions. 